Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how we can do some form finding of a membrane in Kangaroo and then bring this membrane into Chroma 3D for structural analysis. Here we see the final output and the analysis in Chroma 3D of this membrane and I'll be going through the three main steps to generate this setup. So the first group shows us the geometry setup of our membrane. I'm using two base circles to generate the geometry. We're dividing the circle into subcurves using a specified domain. In this case I'm using a slider of an expression to convert this into a domain where we can then extract a certain subcurve of the both these circles. Then we're then extracting the endpoints of our circles or our sub curves circles and then taking both sets of start and end points to create a polyline. So now we have this segments. And I'm just going to hide now these inputs so that we just see the two polylines. Using the evaluate curve, we're now evaluating four points on the curve, the start endpoints and then two points in the middle. I'm using the range here to have equal spacings between these points. Using the flip matrix, we're going to reorganize our path structure so that we have two points in each list. And next we need to move our points vertically to create the actual starting geometry. If I turn on my move points, you can see what type of shape I'm trying to create. I'm going to use the graph mapper to move our points vertically. So creating a sort of uh, curve where our end point is sitting on the ground, the other end point is lifted, and then we have a sort of maximum point at the center of our geometry. The results of the graph mapper are then remapped with a maximum height of 35 meters here, which I plug into the unit Z vector to move them as such. And we're now just going to create polylines between the sets of points, which is going to be lofted together to create this B rep as such. It's important to keep the loft options set to a straight loft type so that we have straight ruled lines in our loft. So now we've generated the initial BREP for our form finding. This is then brought into Kangaroo. So now we have this BREP. It needs to be converted into a mesh. So we're using the mesh BREPs component here to basically convert it into a mesh, using the combining clean to basically clean out any duplicate edges or points in our mesh. The mesh vertices also need to be welded in this case too. So for Kangaroo, we have several parameters that we need to now set up. First, we have to define our supports, which are our mesh vertices. Oh, sorry, the B rep vertices. This have a, has a very high strength value because we want to make sure that these points do not move during the simulation. The mesh is then converted into this edge length component, which gives a certain stiffness to all of our mesh edges. The naked edge of this mesh is treated differently, so we're giving it a slightly lower strength. In this case, even setting the length value that we want to define. And we're also then defining a vertex load, which is a simple vertical load on the entire mesh. It's important to plug the supports as well as the mesh into the show, which will allow us then to extract these meshes and points after the simulation. These are all plugged into and entwined into multiple branches 
which we can reorganize later on after the simulation. We plug all of the data into the zombie solver, which allows us to give a very quick form finding process. With some uh, restructuring of the data, we are then able to extract our geometry that has been simulated using kangaroo. Now I'm going to hide the initial BREP so that we can see the output of our form found mesh here. So now we have the mesh that we want to bring into Chroma 3D. Based off last week's video, we need to now convert this mesh into a membrane. This is brought into the mesh shell component and we have to deactivate bending. I've applied a cross-section of a height of one millimeter and I've applied the material properties as well. We're taking the points from our kangaroo simulation and these are now fixed in the X, Y and Z translation to axis. Also, I'm defining our loads on our membrane. In this case, setting an initial strain of minus one in the X and Y direction and also applying a gravity load as well. As always, we are applying all of these entities into an assemble model, taking our elements, supports and our loads. To do an analysis of our membrane, we're going to run an analysis in the second order theory, where now we can already get our maximum displacements. I'm going to now hide the preview of the model so we can see the results of our analysis. Here you can see, for example, our membrane and we can see, for example, the utilization of our membrane. We can activate the deformation to see how the structure might deform as such. And lastly, we can visualize the section forces using the shell section component. I've activated the normal forces, tangential to the section, and here you can see that basically our membrane is in tension. So that's it for our simple form finding exercise using kangaroo coupled with Karma 3D for a structural analysis. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope to see you next time. Bye.